Now we'll conduct the experiment on AC servo motor to plot the characteristics between speed torque and also speed and back EMF. So this is the circuit diagram you can see here. AC servo motor will have reference winding, control winding and uh, all these windings and motor all are inbuilt here. So no need to give any external connections. Everything is connected internally just we have to connect voltmeter here between these two terminals we have to connect the voltmeter and ammeter is internally connected you can see the current reading in this pan uh, board as well as rpm speed can be seen on this display so first we'll consider speed and back emf characteristics so for that one first coming to the procedure to draw the characteristics between speed and back emf without giving any load we have to plot the characteristics between speed and back emf by varying the speed the speed control pot p1 we have to take the readings of speed as well as voltage across this either tp1 or tp2 or tp3 pot you can consider any one set of pair here and slowly by varying this speed control point p1 note down these two readings and after that plot the graph between speed and voltage that is back emf so first before applying the speed value here you should check whether the load is in off position or not and supply on then automatically whenever you are giving the supply here you can read speed value here that is 540 so this is the table speed versus eb characteristics so serial number one speed is 540 rpm now by using this multimeter i am measuring the value of back emf we can guess get less value of back emf for this ac servo motor that is 0 0.2 it is varying so I am taking it as 0 0.2 now I am increasing the speed value by using this P1 point seven hundred and forty five the voltage is 0 0.4 again I am increasing the speed by using P1 seven hundred and fifty voltage is 0 0.5 so like this by varying the speed control you have to note down the values of speed as well as back emf by using these two you have to draw the graph so if you draw the graph you can get a straight line like this why because speed and back emf both are proportional to each other that's why if you increase the speed automatically back emf will get increased that we have seen in this multimeter just now okay so this is speed and back emf characteristics in a similar way we have to plot the characteristics between torque and back emf so whenever we are talking about torque definitely we should apply some amount of load so for that one again reduce this speed to zero and turn off the supply to the ac servo motor now turn on the supply check whether these two positions are at zero or not now by using multimeter set the control winding voltage to 25 or 30 35 up to 45 you can set any one value so here i am giving 25 volts okay if you want to vary that that value by using this load control you can vary so after that don't change that value now without giving any load here so first note on the reading of speed that is 
463 and uh, back EMF is 0 0.2 This is 25 only. This is control winding voltage, but we have to take back EMF here. So back EMF is 0 0.03 and current is 0 0.110. Speed is 460. Next, apply some load by using this P2 knob. So whenever you are applying the load automatically current will be increased and speed will get reduced. You can observe this in these two displays. Four hundred and thirteen and current is zero point one nine two. Back EMF is zero point zero. 8. Again I am applying some load. Speed is continuously getting reduced. 387 and the current is 0 0.24 and voltage is 0 0.1. I am taking one more value. 300 and 35 current is 0 0.33 back emf value is 0 0.15 okay so like this by varying the load pointer or load control pointer we have to note down the values of armature current speed and back emf so you can see four readings we have taken now by using these values you have to calculate power so power value uh, formula is equal to eb into ia so eb is there i is there multiply these two you can get power and consider torque formula torque is equal to p divided by omega omega is equal to 2 pi n by 60 so this constant we are considering for ac servo motor so by using this torque formula calculate torque value of this AC servo motor for different values of loads. Now after calculating torque, consider torque value and this speed value. Draw the graphs for different loads. So you can get a graph like this. So if you see here, three curves are here but that is VC is equal to 50 volts, you are getting one curve. If you increase the VC from 50 to 60, you are getting this one, again 60 to 70. The value of the torque is getting increased. So here, just now we have considered VC is equal to 25. If you can increase the VC by using this load control pointer P2. So by considering some other value of VC, you can increase the torque value. So by varying this VC, you can vary the curves like this. But one curve is enough for this experiment. So I have taken only 25 value. By using that 25, we have calculated torque values and we have we can plot the characteristics between torque and speed. Okay, so by using these two methods, we can study or we can plot the characteristics between speed and torque and also speed and back EMF.